From the day your chronic illness symptoms started, your life had changed completely. Everything became upside down, and somehow along the road, you forgot how to love yourself with your chronic illness. Why is this happening? Can I ever recover? You have so many questions, but not enough answers to satisfy you. Days get longer, and nights get darker with overwhelming thoughts. Is this my fault? You keep wondering. Toxic emotions gradually overpower your mind. You slip into depression, start to isolate yourself, and a deep hatred and anger starts brewing inside yourself. You start to feel like you are stuck in a 70-year-old sick body. The journey of loving yourself with your chronic illness is a lifelong process. I know because I have been living with my chronic illness and pain for the last 17 years. I am still learning, adjusting, and taking it one day at a time. Living a fulfilling and seemingly normal life with chronic illness is difficult, but not impossible. And to do that, you will have to fall in love with yourself. Even if we have the same chronic illness, our situations will not 100% match. Does it mean one is better or worse than the other? Maybe yes, maybe no. But we need to stop comparing to each other. Take ownership of your present. No matter how bad the situation is, you will always have control of your present, your actions, and your attitude. Stop thinking about what happened yesterday. Live in the present and live mindfully. Suffering is a choice. No matter how adversity affects your life, you can choose your actions towards it. You have that control. Make your choice. People with chronic illness knows about self-isolation even before the worldwide pandemic. You know how easy it is to give up and hit rock bottom. When you wake up, there's a split second when you forget about your chronic illness. Then the reality sets in and all the emotions come rushing to your head. Some days you think that food will block the emptiness you are experiencing inside. So binge watching the TV and binge eating becomes your regular habits. It still doesn't fill the void you feel inside. When you live with constant pain and discomfort, even the smallest things that brings you joy will improve how you feel about yourself. Find something you feel passionate about. Learn something new. Do you like to cook? Learn a new recipe. Start gardening or painting. Reconnect with the nature. Enjoy your surrounding. Do you read books? Pick up one or three. Start reading. Start sharing your experience. Write a blog about it. And that's how I started my journey as a blogger. Rediscover yourself. Learn more about this new you. Do you still like that song from your high school or do you like something different now? I discovered my passion for makeup and cooking while I was battling with depression from my chronic illness. Do they make my pain flare up? Yes, 100%. But they also make me feel happy and purposeful. Self-love is not selfish. You need to make your own well-being a priority. If you want to take care of others, you need to love and care for yourself. You can start by being intentional and looking for simple and effective solutions. Stretch and move your body, though it will hurt like hell. Start with 5 minutes and start from today. Start from right now. 
when your body adjusts to the new movements start going for a walk you will learn more about your body each and every day is your body feeling too tired take rest it's okay to rest it's okay to take a break have a date with yourself get ready wear your special underwear your favorite dress and your favorite perfume do you like smoky eyes or you like the bright lip wear it you don't need any special occasion to look and feel beautiful do you remember your first love and how it felt when you first touched your lover's hands recreate the same passion for yourself look into the mirror touch your body touch your hair you are beautiful your scars are beautiful and unique all the things you hate about your body all the changes chronic illness has brought are making you special can you see it feel the dripping of water on your skin when you are taking a shower enjoy the air when it touches your hair or the sun when it kisses your face you are loved you are special and your chronic illness does not define you enjoy the music dance with your song do the crazy hair color you have always wanted to do talk with a friend note down your smallest daily wins or just simply enjoy a cup of coffee all by yourself if you have a bad mood it aggravates the chronic pain how you feel mentally can manifest into how you are feeling physically start celebrating yourself your smallest wins be your own cheerleader start having a positive and open mindset and surround yourself with positive people learning how to love yourself again with your chronic illness can be your biggest win so take baby steps one day at a time till my next one stay healthy stay beautiful and stay with Cephas Corner